Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder, the cause of which is really still not fully understood. Uh, the major hypothesis right now is that there is uh, an accumulation of a protein called alpha synuclein in the brain cells of uh, patients with Parkinson's disease. And uh, this uh, alpha synuclein uh, can cause interference with the normal function of the cells, as a result of which uh, there is a deficiency of uh, dopamine uh, in the middle part of the brain called the substantia nigra. So uh, as a result of uh, the damage by this toxic protein, alpha synuclein, uh, there is a degeneration of uh, these nerve cells uh, in the various parts of the brain, including uh, the midbrain, but other parts of the brain may be involved. And as, and as a result, patients develop Parkinson's symptoms. They can be manifested by tremor, slowness of movement, uh, trouble with uh, gait and balance. Uh, but many Parkinson patients have variety of non-motor symptoms as well, such as loss of smell, uh, they may have trouble with their sleep, uh, they have uh, fluctuations in their blood pressure, and uh, eventually many of them develop cognitive deficit. So what, one of the leading hypotheses currently is that uh, alpha synuclein causes damage in these cells, and therefore uh, alpha synuclein is an ideal therapeutic target uh, for the treatment of Parkinson's disease, particularly uh, in our effort to alter the natural history of the disease. So uh, one of the uh, medications that we are currently testing at Baylor College of Medicine is a monoclonal antibody against alpha-synuclein. Uh, we infuse the, uh, the, um, alpha, uh, the monoclonal antibody uh, once a month uh, through an infusion um, and uh, we hope that uh, with prolonged treatment uh, that we will favorably alter the natural progression of the disease.